Regardless of whether you aren't the greatest workmanship fan around, you would have known about the Renaissance time frame. Being one of the significant craftsmanship times in presence. Praised still right up till today, with a portion of the world's greatest name specialists and canvases displayed and made in this notable time. What does Renaissance mean? The name Renaissance is a French word translating to rebirth. It symbolized the beginning of a new era of art, rebirthing the classical models of ancient Greek and Rome periods while using the modern techniques. When did this era begin? There isn't an accurate date of the start of the Renaissance time frame, yet it was supposed to start in the period from 1350 until the year 1400. Beginning in Florence, Italy, before spreading out to the remainder of the nation. Before the Renaissance time frame, in the medieval times, individuals figured life ought to and consistently be hard. It was a world loaded up with war and difficult work, with residents working themselves into the ground until they died. Be that as it may, by the 1300s, the individuals of Florence started to think in an unexpected way. Examining the previous existences of the Greeks and Romans, they understood that life should be possible in another manner, which presented the better approach for speculation called humanism. Utilizing the solaces of life, stirring workmanship, culture, science, innovation, and music to bring more satisfaction into life. As Italy was a significantly affluent nation at that point, it was simple for them to indulgently spend their cash on the better things of life, developing humanism rapidly. Affluent shippers employed craftsmen and craftspeople all the more every now and again. Just as rivalries among craftsmen and scholars happening all the more habitually. Workmanship started to prosper, and new considerations started to develop. With the whole landmass spending increasingly more cash on the expressive arts. This started the establishment for the European time of investigation, which before long prompted Europe's worldwide force. How long did the Renaissance period last? The finish of the Renaissance time frame ties in straightforwardly with Florence's decrease. It initially started with the attack of Florence by France in 1494, just as Italy, breaking into fighting between its city-states. The presentation of the Renaissance brought forth numerous political and scholarly developments, with the period having a huge backfire. By the 1550s, a large number of the works of art and writing that helped build up the Renaissance were restricted. What's more, by the mid-1550s, the Renaissance was over totally in Italy. In any case, it was live alive across Europe, with other nations developing this time considerably after Italian's end. What made the Renaissance period so significant? The Renaissance time frame developed another adjustment in craftsmanship, information, and culture. It changed the manner in which the residents thought, with first the rediscovery of old-style theory, writing, and craftsmanship, just as the new revelations in movement, innovation, and style. This period was so significant as it changed the way the world idea, with new developments, styles, and investigations that are as yet persuasive and happening right up till today. The term, Renaissance man, alludes to the exceptionally powerful individuals who formed this time frame. They were bosses of development, designing, innovatively, and travel, with some of their revelations creations despite everything utilized generally right up till the present time. Where can you see them? The Renaissance canvases and models can be found all through Europe and somewhere else, spread out now because of their interest. Be that as it may, a vast larger part despite everything stay inside their introduction to the world nation, to be specific in Vatican City. The city is home to one of the greatest workmanship assortments in presence, named the Vatican Museums. This doesn't simply allude to two or three structures yet in certainty 54 separate displays, including more than 1400 rooms. Out of the 70,000 work of art pieces showed in these exhibition halls, an enormous number of them are from the Renaissance time frame. Sistine Chapel's ceiling. Michelangelo, conceived as Michelangelo di Lodovico Buonarroti Simonese however broadly known by just his first name, is Italy's most prominent known craftsman. His pieces and style are amazing, standing out forever as probably the best works of art ever. His time was inside the Renaissance time frame, with him being the main craftsmanship ace during the period. He was an artist, painter, planner, and writer, and impacted both the at various times in every one of these classifications. Out of the entirety of his manifestations, without a doubt the most well-known and notable is Michelangelo's roof in the Sistine Chapel. The staggering site is a center for culture, history, or workmanship. The chapel has been around since the 1470s, yet the notorious roof wasn't valuable until the pinnacle of the Renaissance time frame. The roof is isolated into 33 regions, with each segment highlighting an alternate strict scene. 
The canvas is amazingly point by point, with many concealed implications all meant to exhibit a passionate delineation of the dedication to God. Showing God's various sides, including his retaliation and love. Raphael's Rooms. Another of the Renaissance time frame aces was the well known Raffaello Sanzio da Urbino. He was cherished for his canvases and appeal, coasting through the high class society of Italy without any problem. In any case, the commission for enlivening the four private rooms of Pope Julius II, when set when Raphael was moderately youthful and obscure, and insignificant 25 years of age. The rooms were each independently named, with Constantine, Heliodorus, Segnatura, and Fire in the Borgo. The rooms took his whole vocation to do, with Raphael going before it was totally wrapped up. Fortunately his associates assisted with an enormous part of the rooms, so they handily proceeded without him. Just two rooms of the four rooms were totally done by Raphael, however all have mind-boggling point of interest and magnificence to them. Saint Jerome in the Wilderness Leonardo da Vinci was another incredible ace of this period, being a painter, design, and designer. One of his most famous pieces is his unfished work of Saint Jerome in the Wilderness. The fine art portrays Saint Jerome during his retreat to the Syrian desert, stooping in a rough scene while he looks up towards the cross. There are numerous images portrayed in the artistic creation, with a lion, a stone, and a cardinal's cap to all speak to the customary properties of the holy person.